Hi, Watch Friends. You're watching The Box Trio is back, and we have uncovered our top new arrivals of the week. You have to come see them. Justin, Brandon, nice to see you guys. Hey. Oh, it's a pleasure. It's a good one. I'm yeah. excited for this warmer weather, which means mm. I feel like we're seeing an even like influx in some of the watches that are coming in. Before we get into our top watches, will you guys do a wrist check with me? Absolutely. Yes. What are you wearing today? Check it up. Yeah, I got the uh, Sea Dweller going on today. Oh, fun. Um, love the Sea Dweller. I think it's just Classic. such a great watch. To me, it's like a better Submariner. Mm -hmm. um, and this one, you know, the new one that has like the nod, the red line on it. Anyway, yeah, great cool. watch. I love it. Love wearing it. Big what do you fan. guys got on? I actually have on a birthier day date. So Ooh, this is nice. not a ladies. This is a 36 in all of its glory, yeah. but it happens to have a tapestry dial, which is one of my favorites. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. What are you wearing? I've got on a Oyster Perpetual reference 1002, circa 1969. It's got the mosaic dial. Yeah. And I like this because it's got the no date, which is pretty cool. All right, well, as always, be sure to let us know what you guys are wearing. We love a wrist check with you guys, mm -hmm. too. So as mentioned, Justin, you've got the top modern yes. men's watch of yep. the week. You've got the top vintage watch of the week. And yep. I am representing the ladies with my top ladies watch of the week, even though it's not a ladies watch. Mm -hmm. So kick this one off. Yes. Okay. Yeah, what have you got? I got something great for you guys. Do you? Uh, yes, Ooh. date 840. You are not lying. Platinum. Um, big, great watch. Big yeah. dog. Yeah, big dog. Mm -hmm. uh, this is Rolex Reference 228206 mm -hmm. uh, in solid platinum. Um, I love this watch. I mean, when you see it, you know exactly what it mm -hmm. is, if you know, right? And it has that ice blue dial. Um, this one actually has a little bit more interest because it has that quadrant dial. Mm -hmm. So oh, if gosh. you look at it, it's, see, you don't really notice it from across the room, but when you look up close, it has that really subtle texture. And I mean, it really kind of depends on how the light hits it where mm -hmm. you see it. Um, but I love those little subtle details, right? Like it's, you know, it's a little bit extra. It's just more to appreciate once you get into it. Um, yeah. The ice blue dial with those blued hands and the blued Roman numerals. Oh. Um, it's just so beautiful. Beautiful with the platinum. I just love that cool tone all throughout. Um, and plus, since it's the, the ice blue is only on the platinum, it's mm -hmm. like you kind of, it's instantly, instantly recognizable. Mm -hmm. You know exactly what it is. That is the epitome of luxury watch to me. Yeah. Like it is definitely something you can wear a lot more regularly. I wouldn't call it a daily, but man alive, there is not a thing wrong with that entire piece. Yeah. Anyway, so that's my pick, but I am very anxious to see what you guys got. Man, Emily? I feel yeah. like you like knocked yours out of the park, <laughs> but nonetheless, I will be happy to share mine. Mine's definitely a little bit toned down mm -hmm. for me, but I have a Rolex Datejust. Okay, cool. Not just any Datejust, this happens to be two-tone today, but a 116233. This has an ivory pyramid dial, which is like absolutely one of my favorite details. It's a little like under the radar. Yeah. You have to be pretty close to see it. Fluted bezel, um, obviously you've got the Jubilee bracelet, mm -hmm. the 18 karat yellow gold Roman numerals kind of adorn some of the details on the bezel and the watch itself. Uh, automatic 3135 movement, you've got sapphire crystal. So this is my choice this week. What do you guys think? This one's like, uh, to me, it's kind of like a sleeper right in broad daylight. You know, mm -hmm. you might look over it if you're just looking through a whole bunch of watches on a list, but if you catch it, you're like, oh, you know what? That's actually kind of special. And that's what we're here for. Yeah. I'm digging through, going through all the like wonderful yeah. things, but just to find yeah. that hidden we don't gem. See that many of them. No, the pyramid. It's like when you're checking the time on that one, you might like forget to check the time and just like get distracted. Yeah, you get distracted by that <laughs> dial. Yeah, <laughs> That's really nice. So funny. All right, well, we've got two of them. It's time for the third one. All right, we've got a Rolex Submariner. So it's a 16808 circa 1987. So this is considered a transitional model yeah. because it still has a similar nipple dial as the 1680 gold that came before it. Mm -hmm. But they Rolex upgraded the movement upgraded the depth rating, it has a quick set date, which mm. I'm a sucker for. Yeah. And it has the sapphire crystal, so it's kind of like a good blend of modern and vintage into one. Um, yeah, these are awesome. Um, and they do have the gold bracelet, but it's cool that if you don't feel like wearing a gold bracelet, you could like take it off, put a strap, or yeah, even a grenado, awesome, right? that's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, these are really, I'm, these have grown on me a lot lately. I used to not really be like a gold person, but. Me too. I guess you see them enough and you realize they're pretty special. Especially on the gold sport watches. Yeah. And then I think even more what kind of brought me into that realm was the vintage gold sport watches, yeah. right? Um, man, there's just something special about a vintage mm. gold Submariner. Yeah, and this one, when you look closely, the S in Submariner kind of looks like a Z or it's like a mm. flat top. So it's kind of got like a little like interesting like details when you look closely. Yeah, so cool. yeah, people kind of like that. All right, another watch in the box, another home run mm -hmm. of three of our top watches. Yeah. So thank you guys for digging in and finding the perfect pick for the week. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoy our picks. Um, be sure to let us know again what you guys are looking for. Um, otherwise, we will be back with more watches next week. Yeah. All right, until then, everyone, be well.